Alrighty, this is just to wrap it up for the night. So, KY okay, in here, we'll get back to my Let's Play on Living's Uncharted. Uh, yes, I'm pretty much down to uh, record one last time um, for the night, and then um, I'm done until I um, I return from um, working my job. So, um, last time solved one level, and I nearly had the second level solved, but um, in the end, I just um, got frustrated and decided to uh, make a cut. So, uh, it's a no solve, but um, I haven't exactly come up with anything new to help me solve the level, but um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to solve it in this video. Because once again, if I'm not able to, then I switch to off-camera time. And then uh, I don't record again until I get it solved. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the Let's Play now. So, Leo 10, almost paradise. This is essentially the halfway point of the uh, Leo rank now. So, what amazes me is that, um, yeah, I'm moving through these levels a lot faster than I thought I would. Yeah, despite the fact that I've only been able to solve, like, one or two levels per video. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, and this this has been true for like the last several videos. So, um, yeah, this definitely tells me that it's going to be a pretty long slug yeah, to the end. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep persevering and keep going as far as long as I can. For as long as I'm able to. Yeah, because I'm pretty much not going to let the difficulty defeat me here. Yeah, I'm just going to keep on going until I make it uh, on the other side. But anyway, um, let's see, though. Yeah, the problem with the statue is that Everyone goes out to the left, though. Yeah, and then I would need a blocker to, like, turn the other floater around. Yeah. Because we could go keep going. Um, yeah, but the only problem is... Is that... I'm pretty sure if we start here, it wouldn't be possible to, to like, make a turning point. So, like, yeah, if I float down... Yeah. Yeah, he would not uh, turn around at all. Um, let's see though. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure what I did before was correct, which was starting over here. Yeah, I was thinking of starting with this one instead, but, um, yeah, I don't think it would be possible to. Um,. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, but if I did this, then I would need to use a blocker here, and then I would also have to use a blocker here as well. Um, basically to like turn the um, uh, climber around. Yeah, that is, unless we're supposed to, like, um, not supposed to, like, uh, block to turn the climber around. Yeah, that's, like, another possibility. Although, I feel like, um, this might end up taking too many, or rather, too much time. Yeah, so that I will essentially lose too many already. Is it even possible to, like, go anywhere down here? No, it appears that is not possible. So, it's in our best interest to, like, um... Uh, build at the very edge there. So, maybe it appears that we will have to, like, depend on when we assign the floater. I think if it's possible, uh, I would like to at least try to block at the end of the staircase so that um, we don't have to like max out the release frame or anything. Okay, um... So, probably as unintuitive as it is, yeah, maybe the answer is to like, um, like, um, adjust, uh, time at the floater and stuff. Okay, um... No, I don't think we want to. 
Um, turn up the release rate just yet. Yeah, we would have to like close off this gap as quickly as we can or something. As a matter of fact, something that I've not considered here. Yet. Oh. Then this climber just goes on ahead. Um, yeah, now he's too far ahead. This what has to do with the timing here. No, uh, let's just um, do what I did before then. This is going to result in the exact same thing. I'm probably going to run one short requirement again. Yep, unfortunately, one short again. short requirement again.
And I feel like this was what we saw in the same thing. Yeah, again. It's gonna be one short requirement. Let's see if this does anything. Essentially, the climber doesn't have anywhere near as far to go. Those are choppers really fast. Should be better. Okay. Um this might help solve the problem here, but um uh let's see if I'm still gonna be running up short again. Looks like I've made it this time. So it looks like this was the this builder placement was crucial. Yeah, I gotta say it's extremely, extremely tight though. Yeah, the timing here is very tight. Yeah, there's a lot of pixel precision here. And yes, it seems that the key here was the making sure that the climber does not go all the way over here. Because that this is too long of a delay, causing you to lose one more lemon than you can afford. But yes, other than that, yeah, the timing here is very, very tight. Yeah, so I think in a way the um the timing could be um or rather the uh, tightness could be eased up a little. Pretty nice low though. Yeah, I especially love the design, the visual design. But um yes, um it's pretty difficult because of the fact that uh, you have to do everything correctly here. Yeah, you can't really like um, afford too long of a delay in anything at all. Anyway, Leo 11, Marie, 
Marina Base Sands. 40 lemmings, 40 lemmings, 40 to be saved. And yes, this is another contest low. Uh, this level was part of the Lemmings 4 and level design contest number 21. I had to build a low depicting a recognizable object or landmark. And this level shall represent Marina Bay Sands Hotel in Singapore. So yes. Uh, this was a level that I kept back backgrounding so many times during the playing phase of the uh, uh, LDC number 21. And then in its current form, uh, I was not able to solve it um, before the voting began. But I was able to solve it uh, pretty much on the day of. The first day of voting, I believe. And yes. Um, yes, it's, it has quite a nice solution. Uh, let me see if I can remember it, though. So yes, we started off with a 9-9 release rate. Oh, yes, and the music track's the same here. And so, yes, if I remember correctly, I believe it was about... Actually, do we want to block there? No, 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 no. I think we want to block a little further back. Yeah, then we send up a climber. Uh, make him swim. Yeah, so he's gonna go to over here. And then, this is crucial. Yeah, this was the part that I missed for a very long time. But, yeah, this is the correct way. So you have to mine here, leaving this part intact so that the swimmer can come back up here and then come back to the left here. Yeah, so I would say that the solution is extremely well hidden here. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and build here. And now he's gonna come back to the left. And then we're gonna go ahead and. Nope, not like that. Build. And then after a bit, then we're gonna go ahead and clone him so that we have another one going to the right. Uh, that was not the right time to clone. Yeah, this should be the right time. Because the right one should not turn around. Then. Oh, yes. And then upon getting up here, then we need to go ahead and bash the. Blocker and also the uh, crowd free. And then, let's see. Um, I also had another blocker as well. Uh, let me see. I remember bashing here and then bombing. And then we definitely had to build here. Oh, oh, oh. I missed the fact that we had two blockers. No, no, no. So, this is what needs to happen. Block here. And then block with another one. A little farther out. And then give him a swimmer. Oh. Swimmer. And then a climber. Yeah, the rest of the solution should be the same as we already did before. Okay, mine here. Then he gets to here. Yep, and then once we get to here, we're gonna go ahead and build. Okay, and then clone. And yes, the blocker placement placements here are crucial because basically we need a lemming to get on ahead of the crowd in order to patch up this gap. In the meantime, this clone is going to go down here to bash on through, like I said before. So yes, as you can see, the basher still has some time. And then yeah, we're going to go ahead and bash here, and then we need to go ahead and patch up this gap before the crowd arrives. This basher in the meantime will drop down here, climb up, and then come back to the right. Yeah, because of the chimney. Oh, yes. And here we need the bomb. Yeah, so when you bash in the middle, he's able to take both the ceiling and the floor with him. And that's already it. Yes, very, very nice solution. Yeah, like I said, this minor placement was what I missed for a very long time. And I kept trying things over here. But no, this ultimately turned out to be a red herring. So the correct way is to go through here. So yes. Uh, because I've already played this level before, yeah, that's why this one was a pretty quick one. Yeah, pretty much all the contest levels should be pretty quick ones, except for the um, the very first levels that um, our mining has made. Uh, but those I have not played. Yeah, and I don't even know if they're in this pack or not. But if they are, yeah, then the pretext will mention it. Anyway, Leo 12, Life of Suffering. 50 Lemmings 48 to be saved. Okay, another very limited skill set here. And I like the fact that uh, it, only, it only uses the classic egg skills. Ooh, <laughs> these are pretty large um, steel plates. So I don't know if this is Dull Star's um, pillar on tile set or not. Yeah, either that or um, I'm thinking maybe Armani just simply uh, combined some of the uh, large steel plates. Yeah, in order to make them look this big. Or is it the case that um, that steel plates are resizable? I don't quite recall. 
Okay, um, let's see. Okay, obviously we, we need two builders to get to the exit, that's for sure. And then, yeah, for sure, I think we will have to mine, yeah, in order to get the crowd. Um, so that the crowd can keep going to the exit. And then we would definitely need to patch up this gap. This will take another two builders. But then again, if we want to get to here, we probably have to go here instead. Because by going over here, this should make it spot high, I would think. I think it would be spot high. Or maybe not. No, no, no. I think with two builder staircases, it is manageable. Okay, we're only allowed to lose two here. So we could use the bomber, and then uh, for three of the blockers, um, yeah, we would need to, um, what do you call it, release two of them. And then the dirt blocker can just remain as is. Yeah, that is unless we suffer another loss somewhere else. Okay, yeah, so here, the, our only destructive digging skill is the miner. And then we do have another destructive skill, which is the bomber. Uh, so really, we have seven uh, destructive skills here. Oh, and it also matches the number of um, of uh, constructor skills, which is the builder. Okay, uh, so it's clear that we need to send someone over the top here. And then, so one builder here, two builders here. So that's three builders, which means we have four left. And another two here, that's two remaining, and then two here. Okay, so it's clear where the builders go. Um, yeah, which means we cannot waste any of the builders at all. Yeah, we cannot use any of them to turn around. Instead, all of them must be used to uh, get over a gap. So that much is clear already. Okay, um... I don't think this track is played uh, at all in this pack yet. Or it might have. Um, I'm probably just remembering wrong something. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and build right here. And, um... Oh, I think we... No, I think maybe this track I was played before. Never mind, I think I recognize it. Okay, and then... Uh, let's go ahead and block... Two of the lemmings in. Now, are we able to mine through? No, we cannot, okay. So, why don't we, um... Build in such a way so that he does not turn around. Okay, so we get up there. And then... We have to build... Um, yeah, we can go up here, can we? Yeah, okay. You don't get punctured by the uh, needles trapped there. Um, okay, and we would definitely have to go the other way with mining. And then, let's see. Uh, why don't we send up two more climbers? Yeah, this has definitely played before. Ooh, that time skip. A lot farther than I thought it would. So let's block there. And then, yeah, can we mine? Okay, it looks like just barely though. Um, let's see. Yeah, is that even spot height? Yeah, it is spot height, okay. Okay, but if we cancel with a miner, then it becomes a safe um, job. Okay, and then, let's see. Yeah, so we have four miners left. Um, one would definitely need to be used here. That's for sure. One, two... Three. Yeah, three, three, and then, well, we need one here in order to turn another one around. Okay, and unfortunately this climber has already went back. Um... Uh, 
let's see. Well, we could always put a blocker there. No, we'll just... Okay, that will cause him to turn back around. One. Um... Uh, say we bomb them. Oh. Okay, build. And then... Uh, let me see. Yeah, send me mine through here. Okay, then mine here. Then mine the other way. Okay, I was hoping that he hit the steel to turn around. There we go. Okay, uh, no, so it seems that we would need all the climbers to. Yeah, all the climbers. Because we need someone to turn around to, um, mind through this. Okay. Let me see. So, um... Um... Okay, what do we build here? Yeah, we definitely need to mine to the left, though. That's for sure. Okay, and then, yeah, we would need all the, um, the, um, climbers to, su to survive here. I think that, that much is clear. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's just that, let me see. Once we get over the gap, we don't even have any way to turn around. Well, then again, we could probably use a miner here instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, let's go ahead and mine here. Let's go ahead and put the blocker there. I need to use an extra one here. Um, like an extra skill. Either a miner or possibly even like a bomber or something. Or the other thing that we could also do is that we could also stop uh, this guy earlier like, with like a bomber or something. Did I? Um, oh, there's my other climber. Yeah, because now yeah, we have a chance to build further back. Hmm? Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Right, right, right. The others will walk into the water. Um, let me go ahead and block right away then. And then 
Let's go ahead and send two more climbers as well. So we'll block here. Build again, and then mine. Yeah, mine through here as well. Okay, mine to get the blocker free. Okay, and then let's see. One miner here, another miner there. And then another miner there. Well, oh, but we need a miner here as well. One, two, and three. Yeah, that's all we can afford. Because if we start building here now, it should be a survival fall, I would think. Yeah, that is. And make sure that he can reach the other side. Yeah, now he can survive that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, because we did mine there and another miner here. And then also another miner here as well. Um let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No no, we definitely gonna build over there. As I said before, the builders have already been locked into place. Now it's just the other skills that we need to figure out here. Um, um, let's see. Yeah, we definitely need to mine through here. Certainly, bomb here to stop any climbers from going out to the left here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and six for the miners. Um, Probably even wait a minute. So let's not quite send the other climbers up just yet. What if we try building over? And then also let's try building. I just want to see here. Yeah, we'll just reduce it enough so that it becomes uh, a safe fall. Yeah, it does. Okay. So here we can essentially block to turn another climber around. Okay, but the thing is, we need to block here as well. So why don't we do that? Then let's go ahead and mine this block of free. Okay, and then let's go ahead and um, mine through here. Okay, and then we need to go ahead and mine and do the steel to turn around. Bomb this blocker. 
No. Yeah, it looks like we'll have enough now. Okay. Now the only problem is I don't have anyone to turn around here. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't have a any way to turn around here. Okay, so which probably means that this blocker right here is probably not correct. Yeah, but if I don't put a blocker, then um, we won't be able to get through this. That's the problem that I'm seeing. Um, yeah, and I'll use my blocker here to stop any climbers from going out to the rope trap there. Um, yeah, now the only thing I can think of is to uh, basically use the builder staircase in order to have the climber turn around so that the blocker over here is not necessary. So why don't we try that? Oh, actually, also I need to uh, not use a blocker there. Whoops. Too big of a time skip there. Alrighty, and then let's go ahead and there and then uh, let's go ahead and send up two climbers now assuming that I can use the build a staircase to keep on going here yeah perfect all right and now I need to go ahead and release this blocker Let's go ahead and mine through here. He'll turn around the blocker. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing here. Okay, bomb this blocker. Yeah, now I have a blocker in order to be able to turn someone around. Okay, but I have the exact same problem. Yeah, now it seems like I'm gonna be a skill short. Because I need a miner to free the crowd. And then I also need a miner to go to this wall as well. Then again, couldn't we, um, how far does this builder even reach? Oh, it reaches quite far, okay. So maybe, I think we could just simply block at the end. And then, assuming that we can build close enough, we should be able to still reach the exit. Yeah, there we go. That's clever. Okay, very nice level here. Yeah, a bit difficult, but not too hard at all. Very, very nice. Okay, picking up a little bit of speed now. Oh yes, and here's another contest level. Leo 13, Cactus Valley. 40 lemmings, 39 to be saved. Um, and just to let Armani know, uh, this was a level of his that I voted for. Yeah, in the vote-offs. Yeah, because I really, really liked his um, Route 1 um, uh, contest entry. It was really good. I was blown away by the solution. This level was part of the Lemmings Foreign Level Design Contest number 23. I had to build an X of everything level. Okay, so yes, I believe I remember the solution here. So we're going to go ahead and max out the release rate for two Lemmings. Oh yes, yeah, the same track here. So basically, we need to, in order to get past this trap here. Yeah, so one will uh, die to the trap, and the other one can just simply come go pass unharmed. Okay, now, we're gonna go ahead and bash through here. Okay, and this has to be placed a bit precisely. Yeah, essentially it's important that he's able to step up out of that, yes. So, I think I could make it a little easier by like, bashing a little lower. 
Okay, here it should be possible to jump over it. Yes. And then we're gonna go ahead and use the ceiling here in order to shimmy across. Okay, so he's gonna drop down here. Uh, let me see. Yes, and then we need to go ahead and... Um, let me see. Uh, there's a bit of the details I'm forgetting here. So, uh, but I do remember there's a build a minor comp. Yeah, a build a minor combo here. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and then they're gonna use this little nook to get up here. Okay, and now here's some timing that's needed here. So, we need to time this basher in such a way so that the climber can go up here. Yeah, I remember being blown away by that part of the solution. And I think that's pretty much what made me uh, vote for this level of Amani's. Now, assuming that I have the spacing of the crowd correctly here. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, in that case, I'll wait for another round. Okay, so this should be the right timing now. Perfect, yes. Because the climber needs to get up here. Yeah, and then he'll use the we'll use the other shimmer to get up here. Yeah, the rest of the crowd will go down here and be contained. And then finally all this left to do is to mine. Uh the crowd up free from the from above here. And that's it. Very, very nice though. Like I said, I voted for this Loa of Amani's. Yeah, in the contest vote off. And I do believe I also voted for this Rule 2 Loa as well. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, not for Rule 3 though. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I re if I remember correctly, nobody did it. Uh, no offense to Amani there, but like, yeah. Um, I could definitely see why it wasn't that popular though. Uh, I mean, it was a pretty good Loa and everything, but I felt his Rule 1 and Rule 2 Loas were better. Much better. Yeah, Rule 3 was pretty decent though. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try this low as well. This one seems a pretty small and maybe a quick one if I'm able to figure it out. Uh, Leo 14, triple trouble in space. 17 lemmings, 14 to be saved here. Ha, <laughs> danger. Oh yeah, very, very limited skill set. There's only four skill types here. Okay, and we have 17 lemmings and we need to save 14. So we can lose up to three. Okay, well, we don't have any skills that will kill the lemmings. Okay, so I'm assuming that the um, losses were allowed are to are to the airlock chops here. Okay, so if they make go into this teleporter, they'll pop out of here. Okay, we do have tree builders though. Um, let's see, tree builders. Okay, um, we do have five jumpers as well. And also a glider that we can use. Um, let's see. Yeah, we go in here and pop out here. So it seems like we will have to compress the crowd in some way, day, in some way. Yeah, so that we can go through the airlock traps with minimal losses. Um. Or we might even be able to go to the far left side. Yeah, that's another possibility as well. So maybe what we can do is like build a staircase at each lower here so that they land one by one. Yeah, lower each time and then they make it down to the um, uh, exit level. Maybe, just maybe. Okay, and then let's see. And then if we use, for example, um, like a builder here, as a map out, can the builder even reach up there? Yeah, like for, for example, just one builder. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe I do believe this is the first space level in this um, pack. Okay, no, it would take two builders. And then what about the jumping? No, they're just gonna hit their heads, but keep going in the same direction. 
But we do have jumpers to like get to other places in the low though. One, two. So we use the builders here, then um Essentially we only have one builder left. Like one builder remaining. Um Yeah, and where would that builder go though? Maybe right there. So I think what this would mean is that we need to like get a something up here done. Okay, and they're gonna survive, right? Due to the updraft? Yeah. Okay, let's put it at the very edge here. Okay, then I'm just gonna jump and cancel him. Okay, it looks like we cannot uh, fence all the way up. Okay, that's a bummer. So, from up here, let's see, yeah, would we be able to get up here? Yeah, with a jumper, yeah, we, yes we can. Okay, um, well, let me just go ahead and try this area here. Because I would like to test if it's possible to like, survive here. Okay, so just barely with a jumper, we'll be able to make it on here. Okay, and this guy's already coming pretty quickly. Not exactly what I wanted. So, let's not have him jump up here just yet. Yeah, let's go ahead and jump with him now. Yeah, because I would like to test if it's possible to um, even take this route over here. Yeah, like, will they be able to like, drop down to where the exit is safely? Yeah, we can, okay. Okay, so essentially the only problem here is that after using two builders, we'll only be left with a builder left. That's pretty much the problem that I'm seeing there. And also, this builder would not reach over, would it? Yeah, it's too far, okay. So, we, we'll probably have to come up with something else then. Yeah, just possibly. Um... Okay, and then I believe I could also see maybe using a fencer to release the crowd from uh, below here. I think that's another thing I can see. Okay, um... Let's see here. Okay, if I use a jumper there. And then I build over this gap. Okay, and then I also build to cover the gap the other way. Yeah, the glider can get down there. Uh, we we'll have to fence a little higher. Yeah, and that's a lot of airlock traps to get through. So I would have to find some way to like maybe compress them or something.
Um, most importantly, I don't even know if that's the way to go, though. Um, let's see. And then, if I jump... No, it's just gonna drop down. Um... We also have four jumpers as well. Maybe it's to go up here or something and then like glide down here properly. Yeah, so that we can come from the other direction. Let's see. Yeah, would it be possible to... No, it's not possible to go. I pass it. The exit. Yeah. I mean, this is going to take too long, though. Before too many of them splat. As a matter of fact, will all of them eventually go splat before we even make it? Yeah, a lot of them went splat though. So not everyone, but uh, a lot of them did. Um. Yep, and the fence was already true. Okay, some of them already stuck being true. The teleporter. So two builders is enough there. Hmm. Um. Let's see. Um. Can we even use a jumper right here to um, turn someone around? Oh, we can, okay. Oh no, we have to be like around here to fence into the teleporter. Yeah, I don't know if there's like an easy way to press everybody though. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Um. Um... Hmm... Let's see... Hmm... 
Yeah, if I jump here... And then I jump the other way... Yeah, and then I fence through here... Spot. Um, hmm. Yep, another deceivingly difficult level here. And then just keep going in the same direction. Um, one, two. That's two jumpers. And then we have three more to use. here should be like pressing everybody so that we go to the airlock traps with minimal losses at least I think that's what's intended Try this part again. Jump and then glide. Okay, no, he will only go there. But though, we can put. Well, even if we did, yeah, no one will be able to get up here anyway. But uh, we could also, like, build and then maybe that's another thing we can do. Okay, I don't think this is exactly intended. Top here. Yeah, 
Yeah, again, I don't know if this is intended or not. I don't think it is, despite the fact that I used all the skills. Yeah, and I was able to save everyone. Yeah, but even though I used all the skills, I don't think it's intended. So, probably just one very bad background. Yeah, surely the losses are just simply due to compressing the crowd enough to go through the airlock traps. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'll let uh, Amani see that solution and let him decide. Okay, so, I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here now. So, I'm actually feeling quite good now. Yeah, now that I'm, uh, I've uh, picked up some steam again. Because uh, for a very long time, I've only been able to solve either one or two levels um, each time. But here, I was able to solve several. Although, to be fair, um, a couple, a lot of these levels um, in this batch were all contest levels. And they're all ones that I played already. So, therefore, I already know the solution to them. Which was what, which is the reason why they were very quick ones. All the other ones that were not contest levels, yeah, they weren't as quick. But, um, yeah, I was still able to get through them in this video. So, um, it's definitely feeling really good Yeah, to be picking up the pace again. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make a cut here, um, as much as I would love to keep on going. And plus, I'm pretty sure I'm running long as well. So, uh, tune in next time for when I play more Linux Uncharted. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you all next time.